Hello YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. I'm coming at you all with a, a quick video on how to maintenance your eyebrows at home. It's very easy, you can save money, and if you can save money, why not? Also, you can do your eyebrows the way you want. You know when you go to the shops and everything, sometimes they're just not exactly the way you want. Even when you do them at home, they're not perfect. You have to remember that your eyebrows are not twins. I'm just here to show you all a simple maintenance at home. It's easy, it's quick. If you don't get it the first time or the first five times, keep doing it. I promise you, you will get better because over the years, I've gotten pretty good. I've been doing it now for a while. I used to go to the shop faithfully and I love the lady. I figured if I can do it myself, why not? Now, the pedicures, I go to the shop because I like just to be pampered. It feels so good, but maintenance for eyebrows every time you go you have to pay five or ten dollars wherever wh whatever you pay 15 i do i don't know depending on the state you're in and once again it's been so long since i've had mine done at a shop that said i'm going to show you what is used and what i do so i do use nair which is hair remo hair remover your local target walmart perhaps so yeah about four or five dollars perhaps. I also use a little brush. Get this from like Ulta, Nordstrom. You know, if you're a makeup person, you go in there, always trying things on, just grab some. And this is what I use. Or you already may have something similar at home. Okay. So I did that. And sometimes I just use this, just a brush, which is like a little perm brush, but you don't really need it. But you can use that, however. I'm just saying kind of two things so but this is my main thing the instant elf brow pencil okay so it has this on the end of it which is brown so here's the little brush part here we kind of just brush up and then i'll do one side where you all can see what i'm doing now i just take hold it up just put it on my hand there and then, pretty much, I'm gonna put some on. So pretty much, I've just really took this and just went right on the edges. So I just kind of take it, turn it, and just go right on the edges. Because what I'm doing is lining it really good. So I'm lining it really good. So, and I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 minutes. When I wipe, it's gonna be a clean wipe. So I'm gonna go back to the mirror. Hopefully you all can see me. So once again, I'm just doing, once again, I'm only gonna do one eyebrow so you all can get the gist of it. And then I'll do the other one, but I will fast forward it pretty much so you can just see that I did do the second eyebrow. You just, see? And I'm just taking a little bit at a time. Not too much. You see how I kind of have it on the tip? Right there. So you all can see. So just a little bit right there. Once again. And you just take. And you're going to line your eyebrow. Do it slow when you're first starting. So you can kind of make sure that it's pretty steady. I prefer kind of like a thicker eyebrow. I don't want my eyebrows too thin. However, my eyebrows just have never grown in really thick. I have been doing my eyebrows for a good four years now, I would say. Now, I am pretty much done with this eyebrow. Can you see how it is arched to my brow? Okay, so then on the end, once I, you see the end, it's already arched. Excuse me, it's, it has an arch. So you see that? I started here, went up here. So I just really took and lined so you see how it is you just take and you just line where it is then you end off at your tip we'll sit about 10 minutes and then I will use hot water to clean it I will show you the next step okay so eyebrow two is done can you see you can see pretty good so I'll clean them up and then I will kind of add a little bit of liner so you all can see and kind of, you know, make them pretty much even. Okay, so I'm gonna clean them now. 
Now, it's pretty hot. So, of course, you're just going to ring it. You're going to see me white. So, that was warm. You just take and you wipe. You can see the hair on there. You take second rinse off and to make sure that it's all the way clean and then what's not clean of course if you see any hair there I just take my tweezers and I pluck all right so second side as you can see just go over it real hard just to make sure I get everything off looks pretty good and then of course when I'm done I take and I pluck as you can see there's a little hair there so I'm gonna pluck I don't think there's anything there to get so I did a pretty good job with the nair for sure and then let me get my eyebrow pencil so I'm just gonna kind of take I have this little Maybelline old school old school that I just absolute love so I just try to sharpen it as um, pointy as I can get it and then I just take and as you can see the eyebrow there you can see it so then just go where your where your eyebrows are at and just kind of take your liner take your liner see that so I'm just gonna outline the bottom of the brow and much put in some more and then I could probably go for sharpening my pencil a little more just so it's nice and pointy but there's one side okay then, hmm, let's see how can I do this um, I'm gonna turn it around and then you all can kind of see here see how I've lined the brow and then I'll take the top of it see I just took the top fill it in a tad bit and then on my tip I kind of see that see I add like a little swoop right there okay and then with my little swoop probably take a little bit of the brown and just fill it in See that so you see that oh I'm sorry I just can't really see but pretty much see what I did so I just feel I just put like a little swoop and show you all as well so you see what I'm talking about so I lined it so I did the lining with the black because it's pointy you can do it with the brown doesn't matter but something uh, one of your pencils is very pointy and then I just take the end so and then I draw like the little swoop on the end right there see that and then I take my brown and then I'm gonna fill it in. So you see it now? And then I just take, oops, that's not good. Let me fix that. So see where I messed up? There was a little bit and I just took it right off. You can use a Q-tip or your finger. You see where this is going? All right, so I'm gonna take my little brush here kind of brush a little more so they're coming right along see what I did I just filled it in a little more so it's not so skinny and then I'm gonna take and brush okay then I have that I have my Mac dip down Thank you all. You should be able to see that. Mac dip down. Because I'm going to fill in. The Mac one I like, I like, I like. This is the Mac 266. Okay. So I just take, you can see, dip. And kind of just take on the ends there. Fill it in. Okay. So you can see nothing there but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in and then show you all 
Okay, so you just kind of take your brush, hold it more, because the brush is kind of angled perfectly for your brows, and then you just brush over, okay? Add just a bit more. See, just a tad bit more. Don't put too much, because then it looks so dramatic. It just looks like you have on fake brows. So let's try not to do that. I don't like seeing those pictures. They don't look very, very, very nice. So once again, I'm just gonna take and fill in. And let me get a mirror. So once again, I just fill in. And then it's just filling in more and more and just keep stroking over it till you get it just a little dark to once again towards a more of a natural look. And I just take my brush again, brush, take my pointing, and then go over the top. So I can get that little, and then my little brow pencil. Seems like it's a lot, but it's not, especially when you're saving money, okay? And I'm gonna take the tip just a little bit more. And sometimes I just take my pencil, my eyebrow pencil, and go over the ends to kind of, so it's not too much, too dark. And you can always take your pencil and fill in. Or you can take, sometimes you still have some left of your brow cream on your brush. You can also do that with filling them in okay so pretty much this eyebrow is done this eyebrow is done always remember your eyebrows are not twins and then a lot of times i had to take like my matte golden bronze is what i have just any type of excuse me, any type of lighter you may have or if you don't have any that's fine just leave them as in i also have like a summer sheen from mac this is more of a blush of course but i take it put it on my brow see how i did that and then i'll show you guys before because you already seen that and then i'm just going to line my brow with it Lining my brow, see that? Lining my brow with it. So you see, you see that? See how my pencil is? So in this case, oops, sorry. I would need to sharpen it a little more because the more sharpened you have it, you can see it, yeah, the more sharpened you have it, the better the result. Cover girl one. And then see how sharp that is now? I'm telling you ladies, it makes a difference. So, see how I put a little bit of the brow stuff on there? Well, it's blush, but I put it on the brow, see that? Gives it that nice look. And then I take at the last end and I just line it one more time. Okay, seems like a lot, but once again, it's not when you get down to it. And I'm on video, so it takes longer, it takes longer because I'm trying to really show you all okay but it usually takes you as long as they're done they're cleaned up five minutes to clean them up another you know 10 minutes because you have to let the stuff sit wipe it off but so i have that one eyebrow there that is complete youtube look at that so the one that's done and the one that's not done so i'm gonna do the second one off camera and then I will take a after picture. Okay guys, so that's the second one. Second one is done. I just wanna say thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It may be useful to many. That's it for the day. Look for the before and after picture at the end once again once again once again thank you all so much for watching watching <laughs> sorry my video have a good one